The reason for the decision to build the barrier was information about the opening of Kaliningrad Airport to aircraft from the Middle East and North Africa, said Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defence Maris Błaszczak. I have decided to take measures that will strengthen security on Poland's border with Kaliningrad region by sealing the border. The barrier will be two and a half metres tall and will consist of three rows of razor wire. Three layers that will allow us to build a temporary barrier like the one we had on the Polish-Belarusian border. Construction of the barrier will begin early next year and engineering work has already begun. At the moment, the situation on the border with Russia is stable and is calm. We are constantly monitoring what is happening. If additional measures are needed, then such moves will be taken. The construction of the barrier is expected to further seal Poland's eastern border. During its construction, experience from the construction of the barrier on the Polish-Belarusian border will be drawn on. We can't wait until it happens only to try to anticipate it. If it is necessary to impose martial law, it will be done. If it is necessary to build a barrier like the one on the Belarusian border, it will also be done. I, for one, do not see any obstacles to making such a joint decision and supporting the position of the Minister of Defence. But for this you need to talk, not find out about such things from Twitter or the media. Security is beyond political divisions and we should all strive to make the borders secure. Construction of the barrier on the Polish-Belarusian border began in January 2022 and will be completed later this month. Work on the electronic barrier will be completed by the end of November. We want Poland eastern border with Belarus to be the safest external border of the European Union. According to experts, the attacks targeting Poland are actually meant to weaken Ukrainian soldiers fighting for their country's independence. The idea is for Poland to succumb to migratory pressure from three directions, natural pressure from Ukraine and artificial pressure caused by hostile forces when it comes to the Russian and Belarusian borders. The temporary barrier will consist of three rows of razor wire, three metres wide and 2.5 metres high. At the same time, work will be carried out on the establishment of a perimeter, that is, equipment that would allow electronic surveillance of the Polish border with the Kaliningrad region.